to do with defense. Tu dois passer par le rituel. Because I learned how to talk to God in the secret room. Your best is not enough. Si tu es incapable de m'apporter de bons résultats, alors je veux ta démission sur cette table là The volume of your offering determines the size of your blessing. What exactly do you want? Mm. 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 <laughs> General, <laughs> General Lascar, game. Swag, swag. Now this, 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 now the son of Koku Pascal, a graduate of political science, the best student of his department, now known as Jay, the gang leader of Petty Roberts, Jay Jay. <laughs> but, how? How do you know me, sir? It's a small word. It's a small word. <laughs> Sit, please. No, thank you, sir. I'm, I'm going to answer. I call to change your life and that of your gang. I have an assignment for you and your guys. And I'm ready to pay heavily if you are gained. What exactly do you want? Ooh. 
I like that. I have my eyes on the presidential seat five years from now. Instead of you guys to think on how to enhance your standard of living, you are here fighting over peanuts. Are you not? Sorry, Jay. Sorry, Jay. Sorry, Jay. Pardon. You better be. Now, listen. From henceforth, we'll no longer be operating in this level. But we'll have to step up. Therefore, from henceforth, no more petty robbery. We will now be operating with ammunition. Jay, we need to step up using ammunition, highway robbery, or assassin. Call it whatever you want. For God's sake, all of us here are graduates with at least a bachelor's degree each. Look at you. You are a chartered accountant. Yet, with nothing to account for. And that's why. que tu as une maîtrise en finance. Tu es incapable de maîtriser ta situation financière. Will you stop that rubbish? Mechanical engineer my foot. And look at you. I'm so much disappointed in you. You studied animal science, but you ended up with animal sense. Sorry, Jay. Now, as I was saying, we need to step up. Jay, I'm with you. A beggar has no choice. We all have responsibilities on our shoulders. And the big who ask the source of money. They have to be settled anyway. I, Basilai, I'm solidly behind you. J, he that is down fears no fall. I'm in for the game. J, it is time to put a stop to this long time suffering. Anywhere that you want it, any level, I can play this game together with you. Me, swag, I run things. And things don't run me. Any level that you want to do, we'll do it together. Hey, yo, man, Jay. Person ici n'a planifié de laisser ses diplômes à la maison et devenir un rang. Habiter dans une maison inachevée. Moi, Kof, je suis avec toi. Oh, Dieu. Me, Sidi. I don't have much to say than to tell you I'm gamed. I'm gamed. Now you are talking. Now you are beginning to make use of your heads. The general gave me the keys to an apartment. And also... 
a brand new Jeep. Listen. Before you get carried away with your excitement, we need to go down to the new apartment and talk with cool heads. Because from henceforth, that will be our abode. Let's go. Let's go. In a nutshell, he wants everyone to hate the Holy President so that whenever he comes in to present himself, everyone will see him as the best alternative. Now listen, we'll not be doing this for free, no. The Dom is ready to invest heavily in this project. He's ready to give us anything we want. When I say anything, I mean anything. Ranging from a well, comfortable and fulfilled life, admissions, and to count it on, a compensation. The compensation of one billion. One billion? Yes, yes you heard me right. One billion. <laughs> Anyone who puts his life as a man, <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is the time. Come on, 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 come Jerry, you talk about death. Man dies. A woman gives birth to another. So I will kill you. In any way, we are playing this game together. It is all about forever. 
I'm back with Deva. I have to. One night. Oh yeah, actually, last night the business was bad. That's why. Hey, my sister, if you ask me, it's not bad though. Oh. Two hundred thousand is something. Um, 
Sidi. You know I had to trek from my house to come here this morning. Oh yeah. Yeah. I am tired of the shame. Oh, uh, Elise, please give me one minute. Okay. Oh, this is the Prime Minister. Hello, baby. Oh, yeah? Do you want to be with me for the whole week? Oh, for 600,000? Oh, can you just make it one million? Do you know how good I am, right? Oh, yeah? You will do it for me? Oh, thank you. That's why I love you. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, sorry. Yes. No, no problem, no problem. Uh, I heard you said you said the prime minister. Oh, okay, somebody that you're one of your friend that is called prime minister. Oh, he's one of my men. One of your men. Oh, yeah. You see, the six hundred thousand you made mention is not that bad, if you ask me. Six hundred thousand is nothing. I just trying to make him so he will give me like one million. One million. Mhm. Mm ah, for the whole week, you know. <laughs> Excuse me, my friend. Do you know I had to trek from my house down here this morning? Oh, yeah? My sister. I am tired of the shame I receive from my family every day because of poverty. Oh, dear. Things have worsened since my father lost his job. See, your friend is almost begging to eat, too. I have told you to join my night business, but you won't listen. See how you look. Join me and I'll change your life. You become a big woman in this country. Mm -hmm. as you see me here, I came here through my mind fully made up. I oh. am joining you tonight. Oh, yeah? Yes. Now you are talking. Mm -hmm. Yes, so. But you see, I don't know if you are going to work tonight because I don't know now whether you'll be on night duty. Oh, of course. Um, I work every night. Uh, my only resting day is Sunday. Sunday? Mm -hmm. Oh, no problem. We can go to church on Sunday, then we do it during the week. Me? You know? Church. Church is not my stuff. Eh. Yeah. You don't go to church? No. Mm -hmm. You know, actually, everybody needs one day to rest. That's why. And, uh, you know, I respect God, so I rest Sunday. You're right, you're right. My sister, see. Anything at all. Anything? Anything at all that I would do okay. to put food on my table okay. and to look this good. Oh, you look okay, my sister. Look at your hair now. Oh, my hair. Eh? I just ah. spent two days in Dubai. Days in Dubai. Dubai. You also go to Dubai? Dubai is nothing. It's ah. like a go-to market for my you. My sister, I've joined you already. Oh, yeah? I'm joining you. you. Want... Oh, okay, just one phone call and I'll change your life. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello. Hi, Mary. Can you do me a favor? Can you just come in 30 minutes? Oh, yeah? Can you make it? Oh, thank you. I was just calling the, uh, the makeup actress for you. Yeah, you yeah. mean makeup actress for me? Yeah. yeah it's, I'm not okay like this. If you want to join me, you have to look good. Yeah. Ah. Actually, do you care for something? Eh, uh, yes, you can bring something. Now you can bring it. Okay. Yes, anything. Mm -hmm. oh. You are spoiling me a lot. Oh, oh God. Baby, ce n'est encore rien. Non, ce n'est encore rien. Oh, yeah? Oh, mais bien sûr. Je, je pense te construire une maison. A house for me? Ah, bien sûr, une maison pour toi. Ça, c'est pour Oh, thank you. Ah, non, ne me remercie pas, chérie. Ne me remercie pas. Mais tout d'abord, tu dois laisser mon père. Non, vraiment, tu dois laisser mon père. Il est vieux. Laisse mon père. Laisse ce vieux. Ok. Mais jeune ici. Jeune. Jeune nous sommes. Mais laisse ce vieux. C'est un vieux. It's done already. Love you, baby. It's done already. Don't tu es worry. Sûr. Tu es I'm sûr. sure. I'm sure. Je donne mon bis. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm, voilà. J'aime quand tu me fais des bis. Mais pour, par exemple, pour l'ami qui doit venir. Oh, yeah. Normalement, il doit être ici depuis, non Yeah. Attends, je vais aller faire ça, on voilà. Et pour l'ami que je vais te présenter, normalement, il doit être parmi nous. 
Mais je ne sais pas ce qu'il est un peu préoccupé. Je vais le jeune voir s'il est à quel niveau, ok Sinon, ne te fatigue pas. Hein. Attends-nous seulement. Donc, euh, c'est ça. Hein. Okay. Mais, apparemment, tout d'abord, tu dois dire à ton ami, je vais laisser mon père. Mon père, c'est pas son genre. Ok C'est pas son genre. Je suis son genre. Oui Oui, oui, oui. Donc, euh, oui, allô Oui, alors, comment Ça va euh, Oui, oui, et le voyage Ok, ok, ok. Oui, les petites fatigues et tout ça, c'est toujours pareil. Mais normalement, tu es censé être ici, non Oui. Depuis Elles sont là, elles sont là. Elles, elles se fatiguent déjà. Ah, ok, 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 ok. Ah, donc tu viens maintenant avec la hameur. Ah, ah. Mais vite, 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 roule vite. Ah, oh, deux minutes. Ok, deux minutes. Hein. Ah, ok, ok. Ok. Oui, donc... Euh, ah oui, un instant. Ok. Donc, euh, il est presque arrivé. Hein. Il, est, il est juste à côté. Il va rendre un nouveau jeune bientôt. Mais, dis-là de laisser mon père. Sinon, tout ce que je pense à faire, je ne le ferai plus. Hello viewer, this is breaking news. Yesterday, some armed robbers invaded the fine bank and made away with a worthy sum of 50 million. Three staffs are reported dead. Investigations have commenced and the police promise to bring the culprits to book. Details about this news shall be brought to you in the course of the day. Shall be given unto you. So I want you also to know the volume of your offering determine the size of your blessing. Yeah. Hallelujah! So I want you to package your offering befitting one for the Lord and a person will bless you. Amen! So come up with fire.
Amélie. J'ai peut-être déjà dit ce que je pense de la situation. Et que je ne suis pas encore prêt pour avoir un enfant. Ça va. Dieu, what are you talking about? What do you mean? You are working. And you've always told me you love me. So what's the problem? Oui, c'est vrai que je t'aime. Et c'est vrai que je travaille. Mais il ne faut pas mélanger les choses. Il y a une différence entre avoir un enfant et aimer. Et je ne suis pas prêt pour être père de cet enfant. Mais pense-y. Que faire avec ça Que faire avec ça Mais tel que tu le dis, si réellement je suis responsable de cet enfant, donc là, prends mes conseils et mets-les en pratique. Avant. Laisse moi oh. I didn't stop telling you this since from the beginning. Mm. Have you thought of me? Have you thought of this child? What if you want? Do you know what this baby will be in the future? What if I go to the hospital and die? If you truly love me, then you think of the baby. You think about me. You think of my life. I'm not ready for any abortion. Take toi Tu me prends la tête. Ma décision, elle est déjà prise. Et c'est la finale. Sache-le. Mais si je suis le père, tel que tu le dis, et d'ailleurs, laisse-moi te dire, je ne te parle pas de Je ne te parle pas tout ce que tu dis. Ne sort seulement que des mensonges. Père, je te crois même plus. If you remember, you made me a woman. What are you saying? Moi, moi, fais de toi une femme. Une femme, tu veux dire, non, c'est pas moi. Mais si ça met le cas, jure-moi, je dis jure-moi, que qu'après moi, qu'après moi, tu n'as connu aucun. Amélie, jure-moi, je te le dis, jure-moi, que tu n'as connu aucun autre homme après moi. Mais que ce soit la dernière fois pour toi de pouvoir mettre ta message d'imbécile. Sur ma joue. Les enfants, on a tout le temps pour pouvoir les faire. Mais sache-le. Je te le dis, sache-le. Prends ceci et va et cherche un docteur spécialisé en la matière. Et fais ce que je te dis. Va et fais l'abordement, je te dis. Please, I'm lost here. I'm to pick my appointment letter from him because he said he had to leave the office earlier. Therefore, I'm to come here, pick it to enable me to do work tomorrow. Ah, d'accord. He was at the point. When you mount the escalier, it's the first door to your right. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, madam. Comment ça va? I'm fine, sir. Ah, soyez vous s'il vous plaît. Thank you, sir. Bon, sir, you said that you come to my appointment later. How come we are not in the hotel room? Ah oui, c'est le système. Ne me dis pas que tu n'es pas au courant de ce qui se passe dans notre société actuellement. What are you talking about, sir? <rire> bon, tu ne comprends pas. Bon, laisse-moi descendre à ton niveau de compréhension. Mm -hmm. C'est-à-dire? 
Tu dois passer par le rituel. Tu dois faire le rituel. Tu vois C'est une échange. Tu me donnes, je te donne. Tu couches avec moi. Demain matin, tu t'habilles élégamment. Et puis tu fais un service de travail dans ma société. Seriously Bossa, ça, you say that among the postulants, I'm the best. Why must I now sleep with you before I start work? C'est le système, ma soeur. C'est le système. Ce n'est pas moi, hein. Ce n'est pas moi qui ai mis les règles là en place. Ça est là avant toi et moi. Et tu n'es pas la première. Beaucoup sont passés par ici. Des femmes mariées, des hommes mariés. Des plus grosses, les minces, les... Tout se passe par ici. Et puis ça ne va pas durer. À peine 15-20 minutes, c'est fini. Never. I rather die than to stop that low. Ah ouais, je te comprends. <rire> tu sais, moi, je suis habitué à toutes ces choses-là. Tu vois, les femmes qui me parlent avec cette manière arrogante là, elles finissent toujours par coucher avec moi. Et je suis sûr, lorsque tu n'auras plus de sauveur, tu n'auras plus de travail. Rien à manger là. Tu viendras coucher avec moi. Je t'attends. Mon sens. Hello, ah. ah. mm. Comment ça va? T'as fait quoi? I've done it. Oh, félicitations. Je savais que tu allais réussir, ma chérie. Et ça sera aussi si facile pour toi. Qu'est-ce que cela veut dire? Tu te sens pas bien? Qu'est-ce qui ne va pas? Est-ce que les docteurs n'ont pas bien fait le traitement? Dave, please help me. Help me. Mouri Amélie 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 Mais Amélie, est-ce que tu m'écoutes Allô Mais décroche, Amélie Non, ça ne va pas. Amélie Amélie Qu'est-ce que tu m'as dit Tu es morte Non, je ne crois pas. Je ne crois pas. Tu dors, je crois que tu dors. Amélie Non. Je dois certainement partir quelque part m'enfuir avant que tes parents ne sachent là où je suis. Hello, prophet. Yeah, it's an apostle. I'm there, yes. Okay, I send you somewhere to visit. Thank you. I've always been that one. You don't know why you pass. So, I mean, you know, fear, no fear, nobody there. They pay your wife. Don't mind that guy. Hey, come to my baby. Come on, come on. Say hello to my baby. My baby. Are you guys alright? Yeah, 
guess that will correct why. <laughs> Tell that grammar. Show me the speed grammar. Um, but how you want that? A long and short time. A dog time. Anyhow. Bro, not the best. Why are you going to fire? Go to your head. Wow, it's like it's getting ready. Are the plates ready now? I believe the food is almost getting ready so that to prepare and then we will eat. Alright, so how are you doing and how is your husband? Maman, je vais vous parler de quelque chose. Depuis un certain temps, mon mari n'est plus la même personne. Et j'ai l'impression qu'il n'est plus dit la bonne voix. Wow, I saw him on the television the other day. Et à chaque fois que je veux lui reprocher les choses, il me harcèle et m'intimide, disant qu'il est l'homme de Dieu. Ouais. Et maman, vous êtes marié à un homme de Dieu. Il y a de cela 30 ans. J'ai besoin de vos conseils. Quel est votre secret, maman? I'm glad you really come to pour out your heart to me. Because a lot of people sometimes they prefer to just keep it in within themselves. They don't just want to speak to anybody. And it's so dangerous. It's so dangerous when you don't pour out your heart. You must look for somebody. Because when you keep it within yourself, one day it's going to explode. That is why I don't know if you've heard about pastor's wife who go mad. There are pastor's wife who go mad who have high blood pressure. And before you know what's happening, they're having a cardiac arrest. But when you learn how to pour it out to somebody, then you find out that you know, that there will be peace in your heart. But listen, before you pour out yourself, you must be able to know how to go into the secret place of God, which is on your knees. Every battle in our lives, every battle in our homes, whether we are pastors' wives or we are just ordinary wives that our husbands are not pastors, we must learn how to bend our knees. I have been able to succeed, or let me say yes, I've been able to succeed in my ministry with my husband for 30 years now because I learned how to talk to God in the secret room, in the secret place. That's my secret. The only secret is that you must be a woman that knows how to bend your knees. You bend your knees where in prayers. Because the Bible says that it is God who ordained your husband. It is God who called your husband. And it is only God also who knows how to change your husband's life. Because the Bible says that the heart of the king is in his hands. And he knows your husband more than any other person. You understand what I'm saying? So God knows how to manipulate his heart, knows how to change his heart. Do you know sometimes we will talk, 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 talk. And what you are saying, he may not be hearing. Or even he will hear, go through this way and come out through this way. But when you learn how to go into the secret place, God is going to give, give you the right words to say. And that is what I want you to begin to do for today. And I bet you that you will see results. If it works for me, it's going to work for you. Amen. Amen. So right now, I'm going to pray with you. I'm going to pray with you. Do you believe that God can change things? Yeah. All right, okay. So can we pray together? Amen. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus. I want to bless you, God, for the life of this family. That God, you are the one that ordained this family. You are the one that ordained Pastor Joseph, oh God. And Lord, we commit him right now into your hand. We pray that God, you will touch his heart in the Amen. name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. We declare, oh God, that you will give the wife the wisdom. You will give her the words that she needs, oh God, to convey to him in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that you will meet him, O oh God, even in his secret place, that God, there will be a change in this family. Thank you for a change, because God, you've changed other homes, and you will change this home. Lord, I give you praise, and I give you all the glory for answering our prayers, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Can I give you a hug? Can I hug you? Good. <laughs> it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Thank you, Mom. Okay. All right. So you can call me anytime you want, okay? Whenever you have any problem, I'm there. I have a shoulder. You can rest on okay? First, the main point. Today, four fetters were found in front of the Federal University. Another armed robbery attack has been reported. The robbers made away with a large sum of money after they had killed the bank manager. A headless body was found at the central market 
Eyewitnesses said the person happens to be a prostitute that was spotted the night prior to her death. The population complained bitterly about the regime of our ruling president. The president of the republic is overwhelmed with the increased alarm of violence in our nation and is projecting to conflict for foreign intervention. Now the news in full. Daddy! Wow, my sweet Dora. You're looking good. Wow, you're like a big girl. So what can daddy do for you? I want to ask you a question. You want to ask me a question? Go ahead, my sweetie. Why did you change your way of preaching? Oh, I know you like to join with daddy, right? Good girl. It's okay, let so me see. Mm -hmm. Good. But daddy loves you so much. Daddy will take you to swimming pool, to a wrestling park. Hmm? So where's your brother? He's inside. Mm -hmm. Okay, get him for me. Daddy love you. Mm -hmm. Good girl. See you. Political godfather, I would have whooped your ass for this. You want to tarnish my image and that of my regime? Look at 300 dead, and you can still sleep in your bed? Je suis désolé, Votre Excellence, mais nous faisons tout ce que nous pouvons. Je propose que nous fassions venir l'intervention étrangère dont nous avons parlé, parce que ces gars sont puissamment soutenus par des gars que nous ne contrôlons pas. Et leurs armes sont supérieures aux nôtres, Monsieur le Président. What a nonsense! Are you blabbing, Mr. Votre Excellence? Yes. What's the result of your investigations? Votre Excellence, les gens que j'ai envoyés partout, dans les marchés, dans les rues, dans les hôpitaux, sont revenus avec des résultats dérisoires. La population n'est pas satisfaite de votre régime. Ils ne sont pas du tout satisfaits, surtout les familles des victimes. Je vous en prie, Monsieur le Président. J'en ai marre de vous. Excuse-moi, excuse-moi. Ça me dit quoi ça? Hein? Ça me dit quoi ça? Je ne pas un mois, je ne pas deux mois, je ne pas trois mois. Ça me dit quoi ça? Hey, who is this man? Je arrête you, you shut up there, child. If you want to make you go, you look at you. You tell you to to pay this land off. Look at look at because you're so useless to me. I don't even know what you want me to say to me in my life. Get my mission. Who is this man? Who is this man? You don't come on, you don't fall. You don't fall now. Leave and make you fall. Make you fall now. Even money. Forget money. Make you fall. What's happening to you, my baby?
I wish above all things that young men prosper and be in health, even as their soul prospers. Yes. Pastor, are you okay, Pastor? Oh, Pastor! On est fini. Je dois speak negative. Vous savez, l'argent qu'on a eu hier pour la construction de l'église, les voleurs sont entrés dans l'église, ils ont tout ramassé. Même les instruments, tout est parti. Non. I'm not Oui. In the house of God. No, 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 no. What kind of word you have these days? I'm not, they are no more afraid of God. They are still in the house of God. No, no. God, you are allowed this one the house. You know you command me to bless them because. But permit me to cause this one. Do that in four hours. To return those things. Amen. If not, their ways will be dark and simply. The angel of the Lord will pursue them and snatch their life out of them. In the name of Jesus. If I be a man of God, I keep them in the four hours. Amen. My master. Relax. Please don't be relax. Relax. What is this? Still in the house of God. They are no more afraid of God. Are you and how do you get in here? You start asking questions. Ah. I've come to snuff out your life. Ah, please. I, I, I don't have much money in house. Who is talking about money? Ah, please, don't kill me. Please, don't kill me. Ah. Please. You want to go to heaven? Yes, you don't want to die. Now, give me just one reason. Why I shouldn't send you to the great beyond? I, I'm an apostle of Christ. I'm just in few years in the ministry. I, I, have, I have many members. Members, multitudes, cathedral, crowds. That's all you pastors are interested in. Who told you God is interested in members? <coughs> Who cannot differentiate their legs from their heights? What does the Bible say in Matthew 28, verse 19? You are a pastor. Yes. I said, what is uh, before I... Is going to be my disciples. Disciples. Yes. God says disciples. Did God make any mention of members? No. God says disciples. But you pastors spend time raising members who cannot withstand the blows of the storms of life. No wonder your cathedrals are filled with dead people, walking corpses. You are supposed to be the light of the world, in quotes, the salt of the earth. But you have lost yourself because of your dummies. You have refused to do the work I sent you to do. You refuse to make of all men my disciples. The devil then takes advantage and makes them his disciples by making them believe that armed robbery, terrorism, prostitution, and other vices are the only ways to success. And you, Christians, are not left out of the attack. You focus only on preaching prosperity, favor, breakthrough, and the rest of them. What about heaven? Hell. Rapture. 
A carnal wants God to follow Jesus. Tell me, why don't you preach such things? Please. I'm sorry. Mercy. Just give me one more chance. One more chance and one more I'll make chance. Amends. So that you will go back to your nonsense. No, no. Please. Ah, ah. No. Please. Because you've closed your ears Please. and hardened your heart on the real no, longings no, of the people no don't kill me please you will die no no for the soul that sin no shall die no. how i woke up so terrified with this scripture resounding in my ear romans chapter 8 verse 19 to 22 i read let me read for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of sons of god for that creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly. A voice came from behind, saying, We are the light of the world. We are the soul of the nation. But because we refuse to do what we are called to do, darkness is covering our nation today. Talking about trouble, talking about pains, death, disaster, devil feasting. On the lost souls, we limit the church to the four walls of a building. The church of old refused to move out as Christ instructed them. Saul was raised. Say so today, Christendom suffer more persecution than any other religion. We didn't understand, and it's a pointer to our failure to spread the gospel. We attribute it to end time and devil holy. We the church refuse to move up and evangelize to people about the benefit of good living and how to gain eternal life. Devil does the evangelism. So we the pastors today in our churches, we preach only to people's pocket. We tell people what they want to hear, not the truth from the word of God. The way we preach and teach about miracles, breakthroughs, blessings, Favor make people believe their coming to God is mainly for material possession. So, my beloved, I was sober. I sold my two cars, my house, and I closed my account to invest in this. Then you would like to join me. This Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Chief. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this great day. Your word says, Matthew chapter 12, verse 25. Every kingdom that divides against itself cannot stand. Yes. And your word says in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11 to 14, that you gave men gift. Some you gave apostles, prophet, evangelists, teachers, and pastors. But today, pastor is fighting against evangelists. Evangelist fighting against prophet. Prophet fighting against apostle. And your kingdom has fallen apart. But your word says in Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 30, I sought for a man who is standing the gap. We are here, Lord. Standing in the gap for the church of Christ to restore the dignity of the church. Amen. Your word said in Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. If the people I call by my name, they can humble themselves, forsake their evil way, seek my face, pray unto me, I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Lord, we are praying, O Lord. Restore the dignity of the church. Amen. Restore the honor of the church. Restore the unity of the church. Restore the glory of the church. In the name of Jesus, your church has fallen apart. Lord, restore the dignity of the church. The church of God has fallen apart. The church of God has fallen apart. Restore the glory of the church. Restore the dignity of the church. Restore the honor of the church. Let's 
consented ever. In the name of Jesus, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for answering prayer. Take all the glory. Yes, In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. God bless you. God bless you, God. God bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oui, bonsoir. Oui. Faites quoi ici Dès que vous le voyez, je suis en train de pisser. Ah bon Qui êtes-vous voir Nous sommes de la police. De la police. T'as qu'à te monter. Je ne vais pas moi. C'est terrible ça. Pourquoi Pour la Il y, y a quoi Monte Laissez-moi, oh, putain. Monte, tu vas monter. in your life, you will have crisis in your marriage, in your career, in your ministry, in your business. Without Christ, you have crisis. That's why the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. My brother, my sister, Jesus invites us in Matthew 11 verse 28. He said, come on to me. All oh, you that are tired of carrying heavy load, and I will give you rest. Come to Jesus. He will take away that load of limitation, that load of marital crisis, that load of failure in business. Come. If you are ready to accept Him as your personal Lord and Savior, repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus. Afeta Yesu. 
I come to you today mm -hmm. as a sinner. Forgive my sins. Wash me with your blood. Remove my name from the book of death and put it now in the book of life. I believe that you are Christ who died to set me free. Thank you, Jesus. I am a born again. I am a child of God. You are my Lord. You are my Savior. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Congratulations, my brother and my sister. Let me pray for you. Father, I thank you for this one that you have drawn to yourself. Father, keep them. In the name of Jesus. May they not go back to their vomit anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father. Devil, get your hands off this one. There are no more for you. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Thank you. And God bless you. Congratulations once more again. Congratulations. You have made the right choice. God bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. See you the same time next week. The same station. Ciao, ciao. Amen. Comme un sourd qui n'entend rien du tout Tu t'en fous des dieux Tu te moques de sa Bible Mais un jour Tu couleras des larmes Pour tout cela Tu vas couler des larmes Tu vas pleurer un jour Dis-moi si tu mourrais ce soir mais que diras-tu à Dieu Si tu mourrais demain Que diras-tu à Dieu Mais si tu mourrais ce soir Que diras-tu à Dieu Si tu mourrais demain Que diras-tu à Dieu Jacob. Je prie pour ceux qui viennent de recevoir Jésus dans leur vie comme Seigneur et Sauveur. Je demande que ton esprit soit avec chacun d'eux. Seigneur, protège-les durant leur nouvelle vie en Christ. Sois avec chacun d'eux. Au nom
your favorite, the hottest, and the latest bomb that we have in town. Anneli, your people are here to hear from you. Anneli is in studio today to talk about his upcoming concert that I know you are so impatient to hear details about. Anneli. Bien, heureux d'être au plateau ce matin. Je suis vraiment ici pour d'abord remercier tout ce public charmant qui ne cesse de me soutenir dans mon ministère et en fait de moi Arnelie d'aujourd'hui. Mmh. Et je suis venu particulièrement pour leur annoncer bientôt un boom, un boom, vraiment je dis un boom. Et très bientôt et je crois que la date et autres seront communiquées tout au long du programme par après. Mais pour le moment, merci au public charmant qui, qui me soutient. Yeah, definitely, because we have watched Art Nelly so many times on stage and we have not been disappointed. And we know that this time around, he will give us more, more, more and more. Yeah. Now, Art Nelly, oui. we see the serenity in the country. Bomb blasts, rape, violence, um, terrorism, and a lot of crimes have reduced by 70%. Even it was reported that five armed robbers also went again to the central uh, police station mm. to declare themselves, making a total of 15 armed robbers declaring themselves from violence in two months. Wow, what do you have to say about that? Uh, comme je viens de le dire, c'est vraiment uh, un plaisir pour nous et une joie à notre cœur, spécialement pour nous les artistes. C'est une joie de l'apprendre parce que. L'insécurité a fait de nous les artistes aujourd'hui, on n'arrive pas à, 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 à être ce qu'on doit être normalement. On ne peut pas vivre de notre talent parce que on ne peut pas organiser des événements et autres. Et nous sommes vraiment contents aujourd'hui d'apprendre que vraiment tout ceci a diminué. Et là, on peut sortir n'importe quand on veut, on peut organiser des événements n'importe quand on veut. Et, et ça fait de nous ce que nous devons vraiment être dans la musique. Donc, je suis vraiment content et je, je m'en vais rap rapidement pour dire merci euh, aux autorités. Et la force à mettre tout le sujet qu'on vraiment dans ce côté pour pouvoir I also say a big salute to our Minister of Defense about and to our fourth men that made this about peace. Oh, good job, good job, good job. Let's listen to you, please, please listen to you. Sure 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 I am Minister. Now, Congratulations. Merci, merci, merci. After the short break, to get ah, every detail of the law of Nelly. You know, we are not at the head of this change. L'église. The church. Oui, l'église. L'église est l'auteur de ce changement. Ok, what, 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 J'ai eu l'autre temps à parler avec le pasteur et il m'a dit que l'Église s'engage à trouver toutes les solutions à nos problèmes d'excellence. The church? They have tackled problems of crime and violence. Problems that experts are not able to handle. My ministre. Get me the pastors of this church. I want to see them. Come with me, please. Hey, sit down, sit down. You will uh, take your drink before you go. Ah, uh, bottle, bottle, get me champagne, champagne. Hey. Mm. bad news. It's only good news I'm hearing. What is going on? I'm sorry, Don. We are trying our best. Your best is not enough. Sorry, Don. I have made my investigation. And I think I have found the cause. The church is the cause. Especially one particular pastor. Then silence him! Consider it done.
Jay. Dear Dark Pastor of the Week. Your wish is my command. So you are. If you don't have Christ in your life, in your family, in your business, you will have crisis. That's why the Bible says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in Him will not perish but have an eternal life. And Jesus invites us in Matthew 11, verse 28. He said, Come unto me, all you that are heavy laden, all you that are carrying heavy load, and I will give you rest. So, my sister, my brother that is watching, Jesus is the answer. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know the trouble in your marriage, in your finance, in your business, in your career. Just allow Jesus into your life and you will see how everything will turn around for good. So if you have not received Jesus as your Lord, as your Savior, and you want to do that today, I want you to bow your head. Whatever you are watching me right now, just bow your head and I'll pray with you. And repeat after me. And you see what the Lord will do in your life from this minute. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today as a sinner. Forgive my sins. Remove my name from the book of death and write it in the book of life. I know that you are Christ who died to set me free. You are my Savior. You are my Lord. Now I know I'm a born again. I'm a child of God. Thank you for saving me. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Congratulations. God has saved you. You are now a new creature. Let me pray for you. Father, I thank you for this one. You have begun a new thing in your life. Continue to the end. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. See you next time. The same time. The same channel. In the name of Jesus. Remain blessed. Amen. Oh, Lord, I thank you for today. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, we're taking our morning devotion of uh, reading from the book of Luke chapter 1, verse 37. And I read, To God, everything is possible. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you. Yes. We thank you for bringing us up into this new day. Father, we thank you for everything you are going to do today. I thank you for my beautiful wife. And I thank you for my lovely children. Receive all glory. Be thy highly exalted. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Okay, Daddy, Mommy, I'm off to the office. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice okay. 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 Thank you. I love that. Okay. Oh, please don't come to me. Yes, sir. Okay, God bless you. Oh, we thank God. We thank God. I just thank God. I thank God for this revival in my family. I give God all the glory. Honey, when I just look at my family, I just have every cause to just say thank you to Jesus. Because he's the only one that is worthy of my praise. Father, I thank you. I honor you. I glorify you because you are the only one that I can do this and has done this. Glory to your holy name. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Good afternoon, my Yes, my pastor. Sit, sit, sit. Thank you, sir. Oh. Yeah. Let's get straight to the point. Uh, what is this I hear? That you have been able to achieve what my best brains and foreign experts combined have not been able to achieve. What weapons did you use? And then, uh, how were you able to achieve that with... Um, do that without our knowledge and without stress. Your Excellency, we use the weapon of evangelism. But the Bible says the weapon of our warfare are not canon. But they are mighty to cry, pulling down strong. 
Will the church understand that only anyone will have is the devil? Who uses anyone and make himself available to do this evil work? But thank God for Jesus and his word. Mm. It's the only antidote for devil's work. Wow, wow, I'm impressed, I'm impressed. I, I'm surprised the word of God can achieve all these. We are ammunition and, uh, and intellect. Could you do anything? It's good, but um, I know you're a very busy man. But what are your plans to ensure that this uh, good work continues? Listen, listen, we have plans of building schools, medical center, TV and radio station. Through this media, we want to continue imparting the people with the word of God in all areas. I, I am uh, normally you should not be allowed to be at the brunt of the whole exercise. The government should be seen to encourage you by planting into your uh, project. Well, on behalf of the government, I want to offer you this um, token one billion. One billion? Oh, it's nothing. It's For nothing. the church? It is nothing to assist you in your project. Thank you. Very yes. Much. And then um, this is my personal card. Oh. My personal lines are there. Call me anytime you have any difficulty. My personal lines. Do not say you didn't call me because you didn't want to disturb me. <laughs> Please disturb me. And I've given you my personal line so that you can get across to me without passing through my assistance. Is that, is that clear? Thank you. Yes, Let me pray. Hmm. Thank you. No. Hmm. God keep you. Hmm. God bless you. Hmm. In Jesus' name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. yeah. Thank you. Yes. Okay, okay. So you have a nice day now. Come in, please. Hello, CD baby. Ah, when did you come back? Your mate told me you were inside. Ah, how is Paris? Mm. Ah, CD. Mm. Are you okay? Um, life has been difficult for me. After my first year in Paris, I was diagnosed with three diseases. Tumor in the tummy. What? Hmm? Cancer of the blood and HIV. When the medical science failed me, I decided to come back home and die. Die? God forbid. That is not what you should be talking about now. We are still very young. Ain't you surprised to still see me alive? You know the situation of my family before you left now. But today, things have changed. Oh. Hmm. My sister. My father. You know my father now. Yeah. My father is now a pastor. Oh. Yes. My mom and my sister are now working with very good salaries. Oh. And I have gone back to school for my master's. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Um. I'm surprised. What really happened? What brought about the sudden change? My sister, it's the church. Oh. The church arose against terrorism in the country. And through evangelism, mm. criminals started abandoning crimes. Mm. Broken homes started mending. Mm. Prostitution, we both know, is now a taboo in this nation. Prostitution is not a job. Oh. My sister, prostitution is bad news. Oh. God forbid. My dear, life became meaningful again. Oh. The latest is a new hospital they just put in place. Oh. The Solution Hospital. 
I have not seen a case that left that hospital without a solution. Oh. Yes. Even the dead rise back to life in that hospital. Oh. I'm telling you. Oh. And to crown it all, the church little or nothing. So your sickness is no case at all. You know? Uh, I'm not aware. When I call you on the phone, and you sound very well, I was surprised. If this is true, and I get well, I become a pastor myself. <laughs> yes. I, I will work for God all my life. Yes, so my dear, that's the spirit. You become a pastor. So maybe, I don't know, I will just go out there, arrange for a taxi or something of such nature, maybe use one of your cars then. I can take you to the hospital. Sorry, you'll be fine. Ah, I'll be fine. Tu marches comme un ave, tu sais pas où il va. Tu marches comme un sourd, tu n'entends rien du tout. Tu t'en fous des dieux, tu te moques de sa Bible, mais un jour, tu couleras des larmes pour tout cela. Please uh, bring in the journalists. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Please have a seat. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you for granting me this interview. Dr. Martins, you are the head of administration at the Solutions Hospital. The population and everyone marvels at what's happening there. So we would like to know how you manage to make barren women fruitful and make pregnant women deliver without passing through caesarean in your hospital. Thank you very much. Uh, like you rightly said, all we see uh, happening here in the hospital is a miracle. Uh, also, uh, here in our hospital, uh, we treat what we know that God heals. We have a, a section here in our hospital that we have set up, we call it a spiritual theater. Yeah, spiritual. In this section, we have the prayer warriors mm. who stand in gap in prayers. Okay. Uh, over every case that is brought to the hospital. So, that is it. so while you are doing the physical treatment, yes. some people are interceding for the spiritual. Exactly. I see the secret. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Yeah, we also have it in room that um, at your hospital's bills are very much affordable. But this, I wonder, I don't know how you manage to do it. How do you manage to... Um, Succeed. I mean, how do you manage to run your the hospital with this low price, knowing that you are working with specialist doctors and that you are a private establishment? How do you manage to run this hospital with that? Actually, our consultation fees, drugs, they are all free. Free. And uh, also, we have uh, uh, we do get help from patients from families uh, to support our work. We also get help from uh, a pastors, associations, from Good Samaritan, even the government. Uh, we do have support from them, uh, uh, and so on. Okay, yeah. okay. But there's one thing very important I want to uh, keep in. But one thing I want to say is I want to say something very important. Uh, when God gives a vision, yeah. He makes provision for the fulfillment of that vision. So whatever you see happening in the hospital today is as a result of the vision that God has given to us before other uh, people started uh, supporting uh, our, our work. Wonderful. Here in the hospital we have... Uh, uh, doctors who are Christians okay. who believe that in their services is to God and to humanity. So, who don't uh, believe in the pay, in the 
money that they will get from it. Uh, although the doctors have been paid uh, handsomely. Um, mm. Yeah, it's obvious, it's obvious, sir. Because with this beautiful place you have here. So you mean you do everything free, yet you get this much returns? Exactly. Wow, this is awesome. This is just unbelievable. It is heaven on earth. Wow, who could ever believe that something like this could come out from the church? Uh, if you look at what is happening now in the world, people are running everywhere to look for solution but there is no solution yeah for yeah. the church is the only place for the solution wow thank you very much sir for this interview thank you mm -hmm. i know that the viewer have understood what you have said and we are really really pleased with what is happening we pray that this good work continues you're welcome thank you sir god bless you have a nice day thank you Wait god bless you thank you sir yeah long life and many more days of course Yeah. You know what? You are really spoiling me, my friend. You know, you took me in town today and you bought almost everything you saw there for me. Oh, it's nothing. Ah. Ellis, you know what? You have done a lot for me. So, I really want to thank you. My dear, it's not me. I told you before. Let's give all the whole glory to God alone. Oh, yeah, glory to God. Yes. Me. If I go back to Paris, yeah. I will try to convert all my girls to Christ. That's the spirit. Amen. And when you do that, God will keep blessing you. Amen. That's just the spirit. Amen. You just have to turn all those girls. You see, there is no gain in prostitution. Yes. You can take, for instance, our case now. You came back how sick you were. But God has made you to become a brand new person. So when you go back there, I advise you to sell anything. If it is sellable, just sell. I don't know. Just do anything you can, but yeah. work for God. Thank you, Elise. And myself too. You know, you know, I was sick now before you. Yeah, came. you God healed me. You, you were sick. Yeah. What about me? I, I almost died. Yes, you almost died, but do God it changed. Yeah. Oh, but Sidi, I want to ask you a question. What? You know, last week you bought a car, right? Yeah. And today again, you showed me a car outside the very new one. Oh, my new car? Yeah, I, I don't know. But don't you think you're spending a lot for cars? You like it? <laughs> I don't just like that car. I love it. Oh, you that love it. so beautiful. You know why? I really want to surprise you because you did a lot to me. So, I really want to give you the car. Jesus Christ. Yeah. You want to give who the car? What car? That yeah. The one outside? Yeah. You want to give it to me? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, see, don't make me laugh, please. Oh my God, I feel like crying. Don't cry. You know, you you mean the car that is outside is my own? I'll take it home. Like the car is in your name already. In my name? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, dear friend, thank you very very much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. You, you know what? Tomorrow I'm gonna to be the first person to testify. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> very very testify. Oh yeah yeah. Thank you. See, what time do you see your flight tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. mm. You better be on time. Of course, I will. If okay. I don't, I will. <laughs> but you know, I'm really going to miss you. Uh, me too. And I'm also really, like, really miss you. I'm just like walking with it on the street. <laughs> Thank you. You know, I'm going to miss you a lot. Oh, I'll miss you too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> you. Welcome back. Pastor, you are the vision career behind this great movement and we all are partakers. I like to know how you succeed in doing this thing. I mean, you, I mean the church. How do you succeed in doing this thing? Because the results are just so unbelievable. This is the hand of God, bodily in our nation today. It will be a surprise if this were not happening. Because the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 2 verse 2 to 4, that a time will come, and this is the time, that nations and people will run to church for solution. It's just that the devil attacked the body of Christ. But thank God for restoring the body back. Mm. And today, the fruit is the, the revival we see today. You know, when the wicked rule, people grow. But when he perishes, the people of God multiplies. Devil's time is up. Now is God that is reigning now and forever. Hallelujah. Oh, Pastor, Pastor, are you telling us 
that the whole world should turn to church for solutions to life problems? Yes. The church is the only hope because in the days of old, Babylonians ran to Daniel for solution. Egyptians ran to Joseph for solution. So the church is the only and the last hope for our nations today. If the church fails in this tax, then our nations are doomed. <laughs> wow. Well, as we can see, for now, the church is not failing, so we will not be doomed. Pastor, you, the church has organized many things, and you've built schools, you've built hospitals, you organize workshops, you organize seminars, talking about um, where you, 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 I mean, counsel people, talk to them about marriage and all these things. Um, this, the, the things are really, really good. We can see the results. Mm -hmm. But I want to talk about especially your schools. Mm -hmm. this, your schools are among the first, the best three mm -hmm. in our country today, mm -hmm. but your fees are almost free. How do you achieve this? Yeah, this is the lost doing and it's marvelous in our sight. You know, the, 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 in the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6, the Bible says that my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. This particular verse motivates us to invest in education because when you know better, you will do better. You know, the Christian families support the building of the schools. Everybody pays attention because the Christians support and other, other institutes and even the government support the, the vision. Better. Wow, yeah. wow, wow. Yeah. It's, 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 really, it's really good. So, because the Christian participated in the building of the schools, yeah, yeah, you now yeah. saw to it that they don't pay the exact yeah, fee. Yeah, yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. Yes. I mean, it's, it's, it's new. We are, we are not used to things like this. We are used yeah. to the fact that um, people come to church when they give money, pastors and their families, they feed on the money and the people are left. That's why when, 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 when the wicked rules, that's what happened. Wow. But God is in charge now. Thank God. Thank God <laughs> yeah. for this great revival. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. can indeed see that your workshops and uh, the seminars you organize are, are, are really, really bringing results yeah. because we see marriages springing up from here and there. Mm. We you see violence God. reducing. You we see, God. I mean, a lot of good things happen around the nations. We God. see yeah. leaders who are, are, are ready to serve instead of waiting for people to serve them. We are really, really thankful. Yeah, we God. hope, yeah. Pastor, that this good work will continue. For sure. This is just the beginning because we have put the devil and his agent out of business. Okay, the devil and his agent are out of business. Yeah. Oh, Pastor, before we come to the end of this program, do you have anything to tell the viewer? Yeah. If you are a born again Christian, I want you to know that you are a solution to your world. Wherever you find yourself, in your business place, in your neighborhood, you are a solution to your world. So if you're sleeping, wake up from your slumber because the world is waiting for our manifestation. But if you are not a believer, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, run and do it now. Because if you have no Christ in your life, you will have crisis. Thank God I have taken the first step okay. to run away from crisis Amen. because it is obvious that when you put Christ by the side, your life will be filled of crisis. Hallelujah. So we'll be right back, dear viewers, after the commercial break. Stay Thank tuned. You. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Please, sir, we would like to know what you have to say about the dramatic changes that we experienced in our country. I'm actually doing better it. I'm so happy about it. You know, I have always seen Christendom as a religion. But recently I began to see Christendom as a movement, considering all that God has used the church to do for the country in this present times. I always thought Bible stories were bare stories until recently. And Thank you, sir. Uh, please, uh, rumors also have it that after the cast of ministers had yesterday, that you approved and signed that from hence for the church will be included in the yearly budget of the country. I want to know how true that is. That's very true. Hundred percent true. Look at it this way. The church has always held the church. Uh, the church has always held the country uh, spiritual to The church. The church 
is a smaller part of the country. The church is closer to the masses. If you have a problem, you go to the church. First, people won't think of coming to the government, but they'll go straight to the church first. So if the, if the state were to make money available for the church, the church will make money available for the poor, the needy, the, 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 those in the streets, those down through the widows. The church is closer to the masses than the government, and that is the truth. So why, why don't you help the church financially so that the church can reach out to the masses and in the long run we would have helped the masses? And the church will in turn help the state to press spiritually. And things will uh, work out soon. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, sir. I'm really honored. Thank you, sir. Thank you. For this wonderful meeting. I'm honored, sir. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. You're welcome. I'm here today to give this testimony to the glory of the Lord and to the shame of the devil. I had gone too far with the issue of prostitution because of the storms of life that comes with its difficulties. I even went as far as owning a forum where I trained prostitutes. I thought I was helping those girls out of poverty. But thanks to the church evangelism, today I own a forum where I train those same girls on how to evangelize effectively and how to use our talent to serve God in a wonderful way. I just want to give you all the glory and the here to testify to the glory of God. All of us here used to belong to one gang. And despite the fact that we all are graduates, we became armed robbers because of the hardship we faced in life. One day, a man met us and decided to pump in much money to enable us to perpetrate more evil. We terrorized the nation so much that even the experts brought from abroad could not fathom us because we also used mystical powers. We were having fun when the nation was grieving until the church started its evangelical movement. That was when we noticed that our business, or rather operations, started going down. Subsequently, our sponsor asked us to eliminate the man behind this vision, that is, the pastor. When we got to the pastor's house to clear him off the way, I mean, I just don't know how to explain it. It was as if we were, we were battling with a superior power. We were frozen. We were arrested. We, and we remained motionless. Till the next morning, when the pastor met us, Sorry. prayed for us, and asked the Holy Ghost to release us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. He preached to us and led us to Christ. And by the grace of God, we all are now new creatures. Hallelujah! Amen! Je veux rendre grâce à Dieu pour ses bienfaits dans ma vie. 
et surtout pour le mouvement d'évangélisation. En fait, j'étais arrêté et mis en prison pour un crime que j'ai pas commis. Mais une fois arrivé dans la prison, j'ai rencontré un groupe de terroristes où ensemble, nous avions décidé de pouvoir terroriser cette nation à notre sortie de cette prison. Mais Dieu merci pour l'évangélisation de l'Église qui nous est parvenue. Et l'Église est chargée donc de plaider notre cause. Et aujourd'hui, je suis évangéliste. Pour la gloire de Dieu. Let us be on our feet. Let us be on our feet. Let's return all the glory to God. Let's appreciate Him for all the miracles, the wonder, the signs. Let's appreciate Him. He's the doer of all these great things. No man can take the glory but Him. He's the doer of all these great miracles, great wonders, all the signs we have seen around our nation. The Lord has restored the glory of the church. The Lord has restored the dignity of the church. We are here to say thank you. Take all the glory, Jesus. We say thank you. Your hand has been seen around the nation. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, ancient of days. In the name of Jesus Christ, we appreciate God. Amen. Thank you.